arising, arising from cause, which means others, things arising from others. And then Jin, 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 Jin tradition. They believe things arising from both, from self, from others, both. Then Charvaka, have you heard Charvaka? Charvaka means it's Charvaka means it's a plus of Indian um, Asian philosophy. Uh, actually, very very philosopher topic, but they don't believe the incarnation. They don't believe the law of cause. They said all things just come with uh, by chance. No, uh, the by chance means that they have no cause. Nobody painting the pickles feather, the colorful feather. It just come without cause. Nobody body make his, they believe that nobody make this uh, rose, you know, rose, uh, sharp rose. Rose has a what you call needle, like needle, stones. stones uh, nobody make him making sharp uh, the stones. Nobody make pills of the beans. So they all are comes comes from nature and no cause there. They believe like that way. But then and also uh, fire go up, water go down. So nobody made it. No one made it. It's just go like that without cause. They believe like that. So Nagarjuna, when he met these four asad, met all so many enemies. Among the even the Buddhism also. So then, uh, so we are. Um, I w I'm going to um, talk about how the child made their debate. So from that we can understand, we can get a point. Uh, this Samjaya, Samjaya, saying, okay, thanks. We are we are just arising from itself. This we need need to know self. What does it mean self? For example, usually we think uh, when we planting rice seed and uh, get rice uh, harvest harvest right? Is it harvest right harvest? Uh, without analyze, we think uh, rice comes from rice. We think rice is born from rice right? But little. In the samchaya doesn't mean that rice come from like that self, but this is a not philosophical idea because this mm, rice come from shoot, shoot come from seed. It's a completely different, right? And when you do analyze the samchaya, samchaya, what they believe that everything already in hiding place. It's just for cause and condition appear here, but they all actually already had there. For example, according to them, we already, pre uh, okay, this is interesting, and the one, uh, you know, this Dharmakirti, is uh, the logic philosopher, and when he debated with the Samjaya philosopher about it, Samjaya saying that all seeds are intrinsically or all result, all the result are intrinsically already exist in the cause. So in that sense, then Dharma, uh, Dharma he's the top scholar of the Buddhism. What he said that okay, do you believe in inside can reborn an elephant? Then he said yes. Okay, that inside who who is a ins uh, who is inside of the kusha, you know kusha, the grass, inside the kusha grass, the, the kush, uh, inside, uh, inside which, inside the kusha grass, who are going to reborn an uh, elephant. And you have to accept this elephant in this small kusha gra grass right now. Do you get the logic? Because uh, Result already intrinsically exist in, in the cause. Elephant which going to reborn the next year, next life, is already result. And inside right now is a cause. Result already intrinsically existing in the cause. That means the elephant already inside of the inside. 
So inside is a small in a small kusha grass. So you have to accept it, a big elephant in this small kusha grass right now. They are showing like this kind of a, mm, log debate. So what I'm trying to say that they they say things born from itself. Actually, it's not born or arising. It's already there. They accept this. So then Chandrakirti and Nagarjuna's followers say that then there is no pond. There is no pond to arise. Usually, arise or originate uh, is a, is a, you know the to appear. But you things already exist there. You already things are existed there. So there is no uh, no point to arise. No point to arise. Uh, and uh, if you accept that things are arising from itself, then there is uh, mm, logically there is no point to arise. That is one thing. The another thing that we can vividly can see result and the cause are different. What he said that, okay, just uh, see that between the rice and the barley seed and the barley shoot, shoot, is it shoot, shoot. If any whoever say this is sadness, it is sadness. There is obviously something wrong there because uh, the shape is different, color is different, size is different, everything is different, then what is the sadness there? So you cannot be sadness. That means you rise can, uh, s the result cannot born from itself. Result must be different from its cause. So showing this kind of, actually there are a lot, a lot of logics. I also cannot uh, some things, some those logic can use, can express by words, by my, cannot express by my English. <laughs> uh, okay, then um, that is the first part. If uh, you have any kind of a question, so we will mm, uh, have a few minutes for question and answer, then I will start it next uh, uh, step by step. Okay. Mm, can we ask first? Okay. So, born from self, you say that the, the result is already inside the cause. Mm, they believe. Yeah. They believe. For example. I, I also believe. <laughs> you also believe? <laughs> yeah, that's why I asked. Then you don't have to build any house. That's what point to build the house? No. Because the house is already there. Yeah, but okay, I'm talking about Buddha nature. Buddha nature is already there. So. so okay, that's the different case. Oh. different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so. so that's it also we have to go deeper um, at that level. Before go to the Buddha nature, we just talk about this. Uh, outer and inner things, whether they are arising from itself or not. If house is already arising from itself, that means the house is already, already there. Mm. Then what's the point? You don't have to earn money for building a house. Okay. You already, if everything's already there, then what's the problem? Then, then why farmers have to so much uh, hardship, facing hardship to uh, planting, uh, to getting the harvest, uh, you know, mm. if the old uh, rice is already there, already existed, that is no point to work hard. What? So Buddha nature, how? Um, does it? Does it? Yeah. Am, am I right to ask this question? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's the answer? Okay. <laughs> So, or, or, or mm, no, no. you know, mm, in ultimately, yes, you are right. You don't have to walk for attend the Buddhahood. 
Because Buddha is not arising. Then it's not arising for, if you walk for ra arise, it's just for pointless, in automatically. Uh -huh. But in a conventional level, uh, not the, it's not born from itself. Buddha was born from Buddha was born from the six parameters. Buddha was born from the collection of the wisdom, the collection of the merit in a conventional level. So that is a born as dependent arise, not it born from itself, not from others, not for both, not for neither. It's arising from dependent origination. Maybe we will talk about depend when we because there are five major Madhyamaka logic to establish the nature of the origin, uh, or origination, dependent origination. So right now we are talking about the unborn, wager like logic. It's called wager like logic. It's a wager like logic. You know why you they they giving this name? Because in a traditionally Indian they call they think a wager. You know the uh, Inda God. He has a he holding the one wager. He said, wager can destroy everything. Nothing, uh, nothing can destroy back to his wager. So this unborn logic of the Madhyamaka can establish everything and not truly really existed. But nothing can make it defeat this unborn logic. So that's why it's a uh, wager, uh, wajara like logic. They call like that. So we are talking about wajar like uh, logic right now. And then uh, if we have a time more, we will talk other um, five logics in the, in the, in the, in the next. So like, like now, right now we, we are on that. Okay. Interesting, but uh, still hard to digest. <laughs> 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 Very complicated. <laughs> but if you, um, if the results are already in the causes, right? Uh, uh huh. Letter. Uh, uh, in uh, results. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, everything is already there, right? Uh? If. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, um, what are the conditions to That's make right. the results to come out? Uh huh. And uh, what will determine the conditions? Mm -hmm. And the uh, conditions are what? Uh, do they exist or not exist? Okay. So these questions should be arising to Samjaya. To the Samjaya. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm just kidding. Actually, uh, you are right. We should arise in this kind of question to Samjaya who believe results are existing inside the cause. We should uh, arising this question to them, but in the Nagarjuna side, mm. said the things inner or outer things, nothing other truly existed. If we analyze, if we do analyze, if we establish the, in the nature of the dependent origination, <laughs> then things are not truly existed. We uh, we are having this kind of temporary this like that, assert like that. So we don't accept, we don't, uh, Nagarjuna don't accept, and Chandrakita don't accept uh, result exist in a cause. Chandrakita uh, ex accept in it conventionally, uh, the result come from cause, but it's not, not come from itself, it's not come from others, it's not come from both and neither, because you c cannot prove it. But we can uh, prove in conventionally result arising from the cause. And Chandrakita accepted things are existing in conventional level, relative level, relative level. But right now, when we talk about the nature of the dependent origination, is we are talk uh, we are not talking about the conventional level. We are not talking about relative level. We are talking about the ultimate level. In the reality, we are talking about reality. So reality like that, 
dan jender ke de god mel mel ke de from branding cow in reality there's nothing different branding cow and a cow as this in reality you know in reality the the cow doesn't truly really exist as panther panting cow it doesn't exist in the cow as a cow, cow sand in the reality but then uh, once uh, having the uh, having obtained the power over one's mind like gender kitte so they can manifesting they can do it like in uh, malarepa into in a uh, yak's home so it's a mm, you know kind of this kind of things happening okay uh i i want to just um understand better how this uh intellectual debates Mm -hmm. on uh the these questions okay. how does it fit into the uh boomies of a uh, realization we mentioned earlier suppose now we understand intellectually the arguments mm -hmm. and we feel that what nagarjuna said were uh is right mm -hmm. um does it mean that we are already in the sixth boomy <laughs> <laughs> or i <it's> wish <laughs> <laughs> I wish one uh, wish we are easy to achieve the six bumi reach that way <laughs> but uh, mm, that is not the case uh, not easy to you know i mean first we there is mm, step by step in order to in order to realize the nature of uh, depend ordination we first we have to clear our doubt on the nature of the depend origination how can our make clear or uh, cutting our doubts that means how can make us to sure the nature of the depend origination is by this kind of dialogue this kind of debate this kind of uh, analyzing and uh, this kind of analyzing makes us to oh what the nagarjuna told is the real it's not because of the his thought but the, it's because of you saw you have got the reasoning you got the logic and uh, you, it's uh, clear you, you it's make you uh, uh, you have a certainty on it once you have a certainty on it then you have to do uh, have to uh do meditation that means uh, you have to focus on what you know you have to make yourself in i'm going to make yourself in means you have to build a kind of new habit new habit tendencies and uh, not only just idea you th when you think but you are really in into it that means uh, you how you can make it by through the meditation after you already hearing contemplating then you really do in a meditation on it and a meditation and what then when you improving improving and then when uh, you meditation uh, when improving and you the strength of the fixation strength uh, strong uh, you know strength strength of uh, duality of mind it uh, will be lose lo lo lose 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 and uh, that how can we see that because uh, once you met this uh, meditation stage is uh, improving actually you are in you are clearly seeing there's nothing different between uh, uh hard word and the complement word because both neither truly existed not only you are uh, having idea on it but you are really experienced you are in meditation levels uh, uh, um, improving 
So then, uh, uh, once you uh, in front your perception, in your perception, there's nothing different mm -hmm. uh, between a harsh word and a compliment. That means uh, there's no way to arising attachment and uh, anger. You know, that means it's uh, reducing your um, defilements, all those things. And then uh, your, your wisdom is become more clear on the reality, reality. And you are then seeing the direct nature of the na nature of the dependent origination directly. Experience on it. And so mm, it's a kind of uh, mm, improving our meditation level. So it's related. Mm, if you uh, go to, oh, Nagarjuna is right. That is uh, the copper color, just like copper color, copper-like color of arising above the sun. Just not like a real sun, but another, like overlevers. <laughs> but it's, it's a good, good sign. Okay. One question, then after we have a break, maybe five or ten minutes. Okay. You have no questions? Okay. Okay, then we have a twenty minutes break. Before we uh, we are um, like uh, we challenge you with uh, uh, those um, uh, uh, the philosophers who are believe things arising from others. Okay, all right. So now we'll have a twenty minutes break. Um, please uh, come back at about three forty. Then we'll continue.